Here in Santa Clarita, California, the site of the incredibly tragic car accident that took a life of Paul Walker earlier today. So that was at 3 p.m. and it's actually after midnight now. And the first thing that you're taken by when you come upon this scene is a sheer number of people that are here this late in the night to pay their respects to a man who clearly had a huge impact on them. Talk a little bit about how you first heard about the news today. Well, I was just home, you know, it was just unexpected. I had like, I guess I was just on Instagram and I seen like a bunch of pictures. I just didn't realize that I turned on the news and, you know, just the, the whole explosion is live on like, TV. It sucks that we all have to be here for this, but yeah. it's just, it's nice to know that he's remembered in a positive light. The smell of gasoline is actually incredibly overpowering. The mood here is actually a mixture of extreme plaintiveness and sadness, but also hope and joy and remembrance of the great guy that Paul was. What made you guys feel like you had to come here tonight? He gave me the whole ideas of cars, you know. He's the one who inspired me to even start, like me, building my own cars. Wow. He got me inspired into everything. Like, he had a big influence in my life to get into cars, and that's what kept me out of trouble, so he's my inspiration. If you could actually come back here, just off that way, there's actually glass from the car. It's a sad moment, but at the same time, it's a happy moment because these are real, real true fans. They're out here at one in the morning to come and give out candles, draw roses, and just show love. Occasionally, you hear the motors that go by that can only belong to fans of the Fast and Furious franchise. Those are the people that are here tonight. <laughs>